Our president, because of the want of time, we will not want you to go back to your seat. We need you to just give your speech right away. You are capable, you are able. You are supersonic, you are superlative, you are dynamic, you are charismatic, you are unique, you are not listening to, you are humble, and of course, you also a great leader. Let's give him another wonderful round of applause. Our president. Excellency. Your Excellency, the Vice President of this great country, Professor Yemi Osibaju, the Chairman of this occasion, our Royal Father, Dr. Haleru Yahya, all Senators and as of members here present, our Minister, Minister of Health, Minister of Labor and Employment, past President of Nigeria Medical Association, my teachers, the medical elders, all medical elders here, State Chairman of Nigeria Medical Association, President of Affiliate Bodies of Nigeria Medical Association, President of Association of Professional Bodies of Nigeria, Dr. Folujo Fasoto, President of other professional bodies here present, Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria, my friend, Nigeria Veterinary Medical Association, Association of Medical Lab Scientists of Nigeria, Members of Diplomatic Corps, my Lord, Spiritual and Temporal, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Gentlemen of the Press, my better half, my dear wife, Mrs. Okirima. We are delighted to have this August gathering this evening for the very first time an inauguration dinner for the President of Nigeria Medical Association and the National Officers Committee. Permit me, sir, to introduce my other officers that we stem this team we call the Bridge Team. The first Vice President is Dr. Kinsley Ewere Madu. The second Vice President is Dr. Al Hassan Omar Adamu. My Secretary General, Dr. Yusuf Tanko Sununu. The Deputy Secretary General, wearing a greater cap today. Dr. Ahmed Atajiko. Our National Treasurer, Prince Dan Jumbo. Our Editor in Chief, Dr. Francis Uba. EDEME, as you all know, is the umbrella body of all medical and dental practitioners in Nigeria. The association has existed for the past 56 years and over the years we have continued to strive towards building a synergy with other health professionals and government improve, in improving the health indices of the country. The objectives of our association are centered on ensuring the protection, defense of the interests of our members ethical conduct of our members, cooperating with the people and government of Nigeria to ensure the delivery of smooth, effective, and efficient healthcare service. We also express our informed position on all proposed legislation and government policies, particularly those affecting the health system and medical and dental education in Nigeria. We are here to showcase our association effort at making sweeping changes 
in the eyes of the public within the confines of our vision and mission statement. For us, as we start with the administration, the doctor's life is not just restricted to the four corners of the hospital environment, but also to interact with the public at large. The efforts of the immediate past president and centenary president, Sir Dr. Kayode Obembe, and other past presidents in building the enemy are highly appreciated, and we promise to build on their achievements. History was made in Sokoto about three months ago when the current crop of leaders were elected. For the very first time in the history, the final process to the election of the president was tough because the campaign took all the contestants to travel mainly by road to all the state branches, including federal capital territory. Promises were made to improve the lives of the Nigerian doctors and the medical profession in general. Following our campaign slogan, The Bridge, and widely echoed by the Aristotles, God gave us the victory, and we are leading a team of bridge builders to move the association to the next level. Shortly before we were elected, we lost six very senior members and their driver. We call this the equity six plus one. Your Excellency, sir, permit me to just call for one minute silence in honor of these lost souls. May their souls rest in peace. Of course, the usual annual delegate meeting was abridged in their honor. The annual conference dinner was canceled. NMA, under our leadership, intends to harmonize the diverse opinions of doctors working hard in various levels of practice across various divides. Government to private doctors, federal, state to local government doctors, general duty doctors, resident doctors, to consultants. We have started advocacy consultation, cutting across all sectors of the health industry to reduce the problems of interprofessional rivalry in the sector as the health of the patient is central and must be seen to be central to our calling as caregivers. I believe with God on our side and the enabling environment, we can all have a meeting point where every professional will come together and discuss the patient care as a team. The issue of incessant strike is worrisome in the health sector. With all of all, doctors and other professionals to eschew this as the image of practitioners is no more reflecting that of meekness, empathy, trustworthiness, etc. As we engage the authorities in proactive, diplomatic, and constructive advocacies, we expect a reciprocal, transparent, sincere, and sensitive engagement from the government in addressing the welfare of our members. Doctors, as the captain of the health team, shall pursue welfare issues of all the team members, as long as there is mutual respect and strict adherence to ethics and duty schedules as maintained, are maintained. Our team members should see themselves as partners in progress of patient-centered care. We should go back to the drawing board to redefine our roles in health care provision, dropping all attitudes that seek for segregation of the health team. The NMA has for the past few years embarked on a bold transformation agenda laced with the implementation of resolutions reached at different fora of the association. This transformation agenda involves a strong commitment to the progressive and positive repositioning of the association and Nigeria health system. We are advocating for better secured working environment and restoration of professional dignity with implementation of good clinical governance and presentation of a total war on quackery, 
and unethical health practices. Our members' welfare will not be toyed with. We already have an endowment trust fund for the children and wives of our fallen heroes in place. Just this morning, I have disbursed the first set of funds into their accounts. We shall continue to engage the government in a more diplomatic way to ensure justice is done in the welfare packages for all health workers. As part of our corporate social responsibility, we have constituted, we have continued to conduct health missions and outreaches quarterly to various states of federation. And we intend to sustain this. This is in realization of the increasing popularization of Nigeria with lack of financial access to healthcare services, coupled with the rising incidence and prevalence of non-communicable diseases. NMA has also advocated the frontiers of health awareness campaign in Nigeria in a way that improves the health-seeking behavior of Nigerians. And we call for further collaboration from the Ministry of Health and other well-meaning Nigerians to reach greater frontiers. We are extending this to less privileged and poorly accessible areas in the country. To minimize capital flight in medical tourism, we advocate for the provision of facilities to our members to establish world-class hospitals that can compete favorably with similar institutions in developed countries. We encourage government to set up mega hospitals across the country by equipping the existing tertiary hospital to deliver high-tech service. We want to use this opportunity to commend the federal government for so many steps that have already been taken to address the health needs of the country. The review of residency training program and placement of housemanship, the serious commitment in rehabilitating the primary health care center facilities nationwide with financial reward to state government who showed good performance, the promise to start the operationalization of the provisions of National Health Act, and efforts at harmonizing the various professionals in the health sector by the current leadership of the ministry. These are all welcome gestures. We shall sustain collaboration with both government and numerous non-governmental organizations in improving the poor health indices in the country. To our colleagues and friends, we appreciate you all for the show of love and support. The bridge team has been wonderful in implementing the agenda, and we promise not to let you down. To our families, we thank you for your sacrifice as we take up this national assignment. The local organizing committee of this occasion, the chairperson, the chairman, Dr. Fatima Zara Mayrami, has been very wonderful. He, she is our Amazon. <laughs> to our administrative staff, we thank you for your uprightness. Please continue in that team spirit. We thank our honorable ministers here, Professor Isaac <laughs> F. Adewale, which we call IFA, the Oracle of Enemy. We thank you, Dr. Senator, Your Excellency, Chris Ingige, top government officials, all diplomatic corps, and the press for your presence and support. To our amiable governor, who has just dropped in from London this evening, I thank you for your tremendous support. Finally, I wish to thank His Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Osimbajo, GCOM, for finding time to grace this occasion. God bless you, sir. To our various primary places of assignment, we thank you for loaning us out to contribute our quota to nation building. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I cannot end this speech by not thanking God Almighty for having led us this far. We continuously beseech him to guide and protect us. With God on our side, we shall surely succeed. Long live the Nigeria Medical Association. Long live the medical profession. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, can we give our president another round of applause?